Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Vipar Spectra P1000. I'm going to unbox it and show you how it looks, but uh, I can report that the shipping was right away. Uh, I ordered it on eBay, but it got shipped through Amazon and the prices on Amazon and eBay are about the same. Uh, I think they are the same if you apply the discount code, but they're on sale now. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I don't really plan to use it until later. Um, so I don't know when the follow-up video will be. I gave it. I gave it the features of why I got this light. I was looking for kind of a replacement of the HLG 100 3000K, and that's a great light for larger plants, uh, but it doesn't seem to do as well for seedlings. I think um, uh, the color spectrum. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about the HLG. That that light is the uh, it's just like a locked in um, color spectrum. So some of the things I like about the Viper Spectra, at least on paper, is um, it's got a blend of 3000K and 6500K light, as well as some 60, 660 nanometer red. Uh, so it kind of gives more balanced light. And the other key selling point to me was the um, adjustable brightness. I'll show you that when we open it up. So like I'm planning to use it in the two by, my 2x2 two two tent. It doesn't really have much uh, vertical space and something like that might at full power might be too intense. So I'm just going to mount at the very top and then I can dial the brightness down to set the intensity that I need at canopy. If it's seedlings, I can turn it way down. If they're more mature, I can crank it up. And, and I, I'm going to do it that way instead of raising the light up and down. There's really not a lot of room in a small tent to do that. I'm either going to do probably some greens or um, maybe some clones of, uh, or propagate cuttings from peppers that I like from my season this year. So, so it'll be a little while out before I actually d show uh, the how it's doing but I just wanted to um, go ahead and get it. it was on sale and um, I bought it so I just want to show you how it looks and take it take it out and we'll do some power tests too um, on the adjustable brightness range how how much the power draw is anyway let's go ahead and uh, open this up we'll take a look at it it's kind of hard to do this one-handed So there's the board. It's pretty heavy. So that's it's upside down. So here's how the, the board looks. And there's the driver and on the back there's an aluminum heat sink. And there's the uh, adjustable. So just brightness adjustment. And I can feel the, the coating on this. I read that it's got a I know it's like a some kind of coating that makes it water resistant. I think it's uh, IP67 rated. So um, so you, you can kind of feel that on the board, which is nice too. Um, so a closer up look. Yeah, you can definitely feel that whatever that um, I read somewhere what that was, but it says the actual power draw is 100 watt, but I'd be interested to see where that is on the adjustment, if that's wide open or if that's somewhere below max, because I may allow you to overdrive it a little bit. Uh, 300 piece LED, 300 LEDs. I'm not sure what, um, what chips these are. Press up the adjustment. The driver. It's also in here is instruction manual. It's got hanging. Um, that's a really nice addition. A lot of grow lights don't have these and you have to buy them separate. But it's got the little rope hangers. I really appreciate that being in there. And these are what attach to the edges of the light, I assume. 
yeah yeah these little holes side and that's the power cord here are the usage suggestions light canopy heights and brightness levels specifications for the p1000 So then I just hook this up real quick and um, be better to hold it like this. Okay. And I've got my uh, kilowatt tester hooked up, so I'm going to plug it up and see what the power draw is. I don't think there's a switch, um, so I'm going to plug it up with it turned all the way down. Even turned all the way down, it's pretty bright. I don't want to stare at it, but it's pulling 5.4 watts. And up to 25%, 32.9 watts, 50% is 55, 57 watts, 75% is pulling 89.6 watts. And 100%, I'm getting 103, it's fluctuating, yeah, it's 102 to 103 watts. Got 100%. So that's um, how that looks. Yeah, you can see, uh, just turn it down. Yeah, I really like that. That's that was the selling point for me is that adjustable brightness and the mixed spectrum. So it's not all um, you pretty much have everything in one light for uh, vegetative and flowering. All right, so um, so that's the Viper Spectra P1000. Uh, they said this came out in 2020 or it's a 2020 model. Uh, so it's an, I don't know if they had a version before this or not. Um, I think they're relatively new to the quantum board market. Uh, I think they're kind of late, late in the game compared to some of the other uh, grow light manufacturers. But um, yeah, on, on the specs look really good and it seems to perform well as, as advertised. Looking forward to trying it out. So please like, comment, and subscribe to get updates on how this light does. Again, it'll be a little while before I actually do the test on it, but I went ahead and got it while it was on sale. I don't know if that sale price is going to be generally consistent or you know, the retail was, was uh, much higher. So I don't know how how they do that but um well i had snagged it while it was while it was on sale i'll put a link in the description to where you can get it and um thank you very much for watching hope you like that please like comment and subscribe